we continue with day two of seven days to die. It's 4.20 in the morning. And we've got 11 rounds in our level one pistol. And I did notice looking back at yesterday's edit, we'd missed a loot crate downstairs. I did know that we had an undercount, a safe to crack open. I haven't got any lock picks yet. So let's just grab this, start the day here. And plan is today is I'd like to get at least three or four even missions done from Trader Gen. Light schematic and a pick. Perfect. We actually needed that and an iron pick is great at this stage in the game. In fact, now that we've got that, we can crack open that safe behind the counter. Going to need the pick for sure. So that's definitely a great find to start the day with. But this is going to take a while to crack. Oh, okay. One more. Oh. Okay. Was it worth it? Well, a pipe baton. That's more of a specialist type of weapon. You kind of go for the knees and then go for the head to make that effective. And some gold. Gold's always good. Generally, on a normal playthrough, where it's seven days before every hoard, I would kind of save the gold up for later in the game, but I'm going to sell that. I'll just go and load some of this stuff back up at our crate over here. So the trader doesn't open until five past six. Just put these things down here, including the baton to sell. Try and get as many dukes as we can. Um, so we will head out towards the trader. It won't be long before it's open. And it's just in this direction I'm going. Now this is a point of interest that I definitely want to raid before... Horde night, the working stiffs. That's going to have a lot of cobblestone, cement. Probably won't be able to use that, but be having some resources inside. But for the time being, I just want to knock out some jobs from this trader because with the Alpha 20 update, after you've done eight missions, it goes up a tier, but you also get 2000 dukes plus you get the option to unlock push bike and in theory I believe it shows us to our next trader oh it's not open yet so it teleports us away from the trader and well we can go and raid this little tiny military camp over here and I'll oh, just get our club out there's probably a few of them in the tent I just want to check for any landmines can't see anything, but I know in the older builds, these style camps used to have landmines around them. Let's just wake them up and back off a little bit. Try and use our bow. So there's a few military guys. These guys can tend to take quite a bit to put down. So that trade is open now. So one of the big updates with Alpha 20 is the random generation. And I must admit, I've been playing this game, well, seven or eight years now. And I wouldn't say I'm anything as an expert at playing it, but I never thought that random gen was going to be the right way to go. There's seven days to die, but I've got to admit, it, it really does work well. The way it does make the maps. I haven't come across any sort of weird terrain or barns on top of mountains and things like that. So it has been through quite a few changes in its time. But right now, in Alpha 20, I think it's a great time to jump back into it. Even these military guys here, you can see all of the guts. I'll get a bit closer. All of the guts are kind of hanging out and 
been some updates to the textures. It's looking pretty sweet. Of course, it's brought along the added fact that some of these things are sleepers, so they kind of, just like with that tent, they're kind of just waiting there. You have to trigger them. Whereas the older build, things, a lot more things used to be wandering about the streets, but there is sort of mini hordes and things that come across, so... Gotta admit, I've been enjoying it. Okay. Just the stamina with this hammer. So that's clear. Let's check what we've got. See, I don't want to be wasting my time too much with raiding things that are not quests, but hey, 14 rounds of 9 mil there. I won't say no to that. Now we've got a pistol. If we get cornered, at least we've got something. Did get that pipe machine gun, which takes the 762. But I'd rather keep that for Horde Knight, and it's probably not that great. It's something, but it's not that great. The pipe weapons are definitely, again, another new introduction to the game. The pipe pistol is not too bad, but I would rather not use the shotgun. The reload time on the pipe shotgun is just ridiculous. So, Maybe it's effective if you stick a couple of them on your hot bar, but if you're, uh, feeling yeah, under the I'm weather, not a fan of the pipe that's shotgun. That's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so let's just get rid of some of this stuff here. And like I say, that level 4 fire axe would be nice. And get rid of this pipe baton. I'm not intending to use that. Don't get much for it, though. Thanks well, for the business. Let's do this buried We're treasure quest. I've made a level two stone shovel. As we've taken points in minus 69, we can make tools of level two quality. And I guess on the way, we'll just keep our eyes peeled for any bird's nest, because I need feathers. Uh, it's easier to spot them in the desert, that's for sure. Looks like we've got a storm coming in. And, well, that's not great out here because there's vultures, coyotes. It makes visibility poor. Also makes hearing things a little bit more difficult. Okay, let's get to digging. Never my favourite mission, the digging ones. I never seem to go in the right direction. I guess let's just start somewhere in the middle. This may take a little while. This is not the best shovel. Still I think I've seen the back of it. I heard that. Where are you? Oh, got a twitch yet? Oh, I left us some goodies. What have you got for us there? Oh, a base trigger schematic. Coffee we'll drink now, and I won't say no to 17 more rounds. 9 mil, that was a good drop, actually. Okay, nothing to note in that box. I need to head in the other direction, I think. Okay, this has got to be it soon. Sure I heard something. Ah, here she is. Ooh, ouch. Hey, that hurt. <laughs> um, well, this has taken a lot longer than expected. I've dug everywhere apart from where it is. It's got to be just below me here, though. Serves me right for doing a digging treasure hunt. Okay, there it is. Okay, so just want to ensure that we can get out of here easier because 
as soon as we actually grab the quest item from that chest, it's going to trigger a load of zombies. Okay, so the stew, I think we'll have that now because that gives us both water and food. That'll fill that bar up. We'll keep the blueberry pie. Keep the chicken stock. And I'll make room, get rid of this fibre, make room for the murky water and we'll run. And it's quite far away from our base location so I don't see any point in taking them zombies on. We've already wasted the whole morning doing this buried treasure quest so let's get this handed in to Jen, get another quest fired out. Okay Jen, I hope this one was worth it it took us a while to do. Congratulations. Oh, I can okay. The Duke Spear Hunter Volume 2. Uh, not interested in that. I guess we'll make more money by selling the first aid kits back to her, but I'm not really bothered about any of that stuff. And I'm going to take a clear you look zombies. Like you could handle yourself. Thanks, son. Could I just knew scrap you'd find this stuff like. because one thing we do need to do is upgrade our armor. I made some duct tape yesterday using the glue and cloth. We need like one duct tape per padded armor. So we need some padded boots. I think we need, is it gloves and hat that we're missing? Yeah, we haven't got anything gloves wise or hat wise. So at the very least we can wear a basic set of primitive padded armor. Anything just to negate perhaps getting scratched, getting infected, because I haven't come across any honey or antibiotics yet, and we do get infected. Again, that's just going to divert time from what we really need to be doing. So let's just stick this back. I'm going to keep my 9mm ammunition on me, but all of this can go back. So food-wise... We're okay, we'll get through the night with what we have here. We've got a few canned things. We're close to the water source. What I really need to do is find a cooking pot. I'm surprised we've not come across one. We can get a cooking pot and I'll also probably put one point into Master Chef. We'll get basic cooking down because just having charred meat is at the same time costing us water so it's kind of like a bottleneck we want to get out of the way let's check these cars sometimes worth it oh and that was worth it and just to laugh at us the game is throwing a level two stone shovel at us i could have used that out in the desert before Okay, so looks like we've got a clear at this fast food restaurant. See one guy just chilling around the back here. And now we've got a little bit more. Ah, I should have just taken a second just to make a few more stone arrows, but if we at least fire one off and we get sneak damage while we're crouched we get like three and a half times sneak damage so at least that first arrow counted for something we actually had better stuff than it would count for sort of stealth kill but the equipment we have it's level one bow and stone arrows it's not really that effective Okay, oh, chicken. Get that. Probably not best to swing a sledgehammer at a chicken. Let's just club it. Come here, chicken. Oh, got away. I got it. Okay, so level three now. And, oh, don't want to be doing that. Really want to be using the knife to get as much meat back and bones and feathers we can. So we've got a couple more points to spend and 
Let's just take a second to distribute them. I guess we're going into a strength build at the moment. And I'd like to do more with Pummel Pete and Sexy Rexy, but can't unlock them just yet. We can, however, stick one point into Master Chef, which will let us cook a few different basic things. We get the Bachelor. But at the same time, we do need to get that cooking pot. And the other point I've just put into strength itself, so when we level up next time, we can do one more point in Sexy Rexy and one more point in Pummel Pete. I'm thinking going down the club route kind of makes sense with the strength build. Oh, didn't see you. When it comes to the club, you have to get a little bit closer, but you do get more swings and I'm kind of liking it, obviously. Get some mods. Go down the route of Negan. For all of those who watch Walking Dead. Stick some nails or some barbed wire around it. Okay, just check around here. I think this car is actually probably going to be reset by the point of interest. Oh, fantastic. We got some repair kits. And a level 2 primitive bow. Well, that's better than the one we're using. Still not a lot better, but the repair kits... Ah, uh, Iron Sledge was getting dangerously low, and that pickaxe we picked up this morning, well, it wasn't far off needing a repair, so that's great. I'll use them both straight away. And it looks like we can craft the last of our armor. Let's get the gloves and the hat. I'd say it's not much, but a full set of primitive padded armor at level one. Well, it is going to do something to help us out. You know, it might be the difference between getting infected and not getting infected if we take a hit. I do think we're going to go with a light armor build. Even though we're going strength, I just don't know yet. Kind of, I know, strength and heavy armor go hand in hand. We might just stop where we are with strength and go into an agility build. I'm, uh, I just, I think a lot of it depends on what you find within the game. So, the weapons and tools and stuff that you come across. And we can eventually buy a mind wipe if we ever get to that stage and redistribute our points. Okay. So, just get this big guy. Oh, there you go. Didn't see you. See, that there may have just been the difference between us getting infected or not. All it takes is just one hit, unexpectedly. Okay, so I guess we're going to loot this car again. Didn't actually mean to do it twice, but just get into the habit of looting. Oh, and it dropped some awesome loot twice. We've now got a wrench. So, a couple of repair kits and a wrench out of the same car. Awesome. Not going to say no. Uh, even though that is a bit cheesy. Hey, sit down. <laughs> that was there deliberately, just waiting to pounce, jump scare you. And vultures. I'll grab its bones, grab its feathers. We already looted that, so it wants us to come onto this roof, this fast food joint. Sit down, lady. <laughs> I 
do like the iron sledge. It does feel like it has a lot of weight behind it. Good day, sir. Just hang there. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think it wants us to come in through this hatch. Generally, these little points of interest, they work like mini dungeons. I haven't done them all, and there's many new ones, but the light generally indicates the way it wants you to go. If there's some sort of light point in somewhere, so it wants us to come in golden eye style into the bathroom. I couldn't see anybody behind this door. Let's just check the toilet. You never know. It's toilet paper this time, but every now and again you can find a level 1 pistol, so it's worth checking out for toilet pistols. So I feel like I'm going to get ambushed by a few of them here, so I'm just going to switch to my gun. I'll give it a test. I've actually picked up a few more rounds. we got like 31 rounds. So, let's see. Uh, Looks like a couple of weaker ones at the minute. I don't know, I'll say about six or seven shots each. Maybe even more <laughs> when I miss them. Oh, it's getting dark for some reason. Yeah, 31 bullets won't go far. Used half of them on two zombies there. If we do stick some more points into pistol, we'll get more damage, get 10% more damage back for going into pistol P, so we might do that. Let's say I do like the pistols in the game. It's just better if they've got a silencer, because as you can hear, just woken everything up outside. And considering it's like quarter to five in the evening, it's got dark really quick. I'm going to sit down. And a big swing. Okay, so largely expected there's going to be plenty of food at this point of interest. Check the till, get some dukes back. It's all good. Coffee beans. A cooking pot. That's what we need, a cooking pot. Plenty of food back. Gonna have to condense my inventory down here. prioritize what we're grabbing. So that's made things a little bit tidier, but I am pretty much full. Not quite sure where the main loot crate is in this POI. Needle and Fred, Volume 4. We'll take it. And scrap that. Keep the duct tape. Keep the lead. Get rid of them. Blueberry seeds. We don't need them yet. Scrap the lead. So yeah, it seems like getting that gun out woke a few of them outside. So, must just be through this door to our right hand side. I'll grab the polymer because we've already got a stack of that going on. And this looks like what we're looking for. A shaman box. Probably have some food in it. Got some bullet tips and some crossbow bolts. Finding a few of them crossbow bolts at the moment. I would like crossbow. I'm more a fan of that. Okay. A level 3 padded hood. We will wear that. Even though we just crafted our level 1. It's a few levels higher. So a little bit more damage resistance. Some tin food. Okay. Not through this way. I'm guessing that it's probably going to want us to go out through the bathroom. And it's got a bit dark. I really do need to get, especially for you guys, I need to get the uh, torch mod because I know things can get quite dark in the evening. A little bit difficult to see. So. Hopefully, it doesn't take us too long to find something. 
Okay. Well, six o'clock. That's our second mission. Just check this. And oh, Spear Hunter Volume 3. The game really wants us to learn spears this time. Let's get one more mission from Jen before it gets too late. See what she's got. Okay, so getting on for like 25 past six now. And well, let's just hand this in. Well um, I guess we'll take the Grave Digger mod. Again, we could have used that this morning with our iron shovel. And I want to get one more mission in. Let's go for another clear as close as we can get. We're always looking for some adventure. This is dangerous work. And I guess. Can handle it. Do with some ammo. Right. How many will she let us buy? Let's take like 35. Just in case it Thanks is getting late and we're going to be That's doing it. a mission late, friends. so I'd rather have some extra ammunition on us. Let's stick our Grave Digger mod on here. Again, game's just laughing at us. We could have done with that this morning. Take the hardened steel mod on our rubbish stone pickaxe. Make it slightly more durable. So I'm going to run back to the base location. Just unload all of this stuff that we've got and get out to this point of interest as quickly as we can. Right. Okay, so just gone 8 o'clock. We've got two hours before the zombies go feral and start running at us. And we're just not got the weapons or ammunition to be able to take that at the moment so let's get in here as quick as we can sit down lady we're under a time limit on this one okay sort of indicating we could go outside there hey another pistol i won't say no let's back up and we can also deconstruct it for parts, especially if we end up going down the pistol road. I bet there's something behind that. Oh yeah, I can already see. <laughs> I love it when they just fall over like that. Uh, animation. Okay. Stone arrow. Even though this one's a level two, it's still so ineffective. A lot of that's down to the fact that we're actually using stone arrows, but still, we don't want to push on too quick. We're still pretty squishy at the moment, you know. Kind of like Ark Survival Evolved. You start off, you're a level one. Toilet pistol! It's two pistols out of this POI. Fantastic. So if I end up deconstructing all three of them, that would give us nine pistol parts back. And if we spec pistol P, then we could craft a better pistol, which we might do. Okay. Um, so it's getting light, so... Just use the bow where we can. Yeah, it's not effective, but it does sit him down sometimes. Up with his head. One more. Let's grab my arrows back from you. They do something. That sounds like quite a few. And it sounds like it's coming from outside. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, that does not sound good. I have no idea, but there's definitely at least, at the very least, three outside coming in that door. And this is not part of the instance. This could be a wandering horde.
coming into this POI. I was really quiet as well. I don't know how they clocked us. Let's just check before we bug out. We can go back up the stairs, get on the roof. Um, we're not feral yet. Okay, yeah, no, that's not three or four. Um, oh dear. This might be a mistake. We're in trouble. Right, let's just do what we can. Like 38 rounds left. They're not doing much. We're backed into the corner here. Oh, okay. Let's get out. Let's get out. Oh, okay. Let's just get out into the open. We just got cornered there. Just bandage up. Okay, 13 rounds left. May as well use them now. That was definitely a horde that came in here. You can see one red dot, so one of them's not, but I need to get these down. I need to get them down in the next 30 minutes in-game time because otherwise they're going to start sprinting at me and I won't be able to handle it. Oh, out of stamina. Just do it slowly. It's a big mama. Those ones can actually take a few hits. That's his head down. Little guy there. He's generally not too tough, but she might take a few hits. Okay. Whew. That was close, that. We got backed into a corner. And it's like a little mini horde just wandered in. And I was being really, really quiet. I suppose they can hear you rustling about from outside. They just clocked in on us. Okay. Um, well, we made it. We live to fight another day. Would have been disappointing if the series ended on episode two because of course if I die, that's it. Okay, so we got a lock. Do have I think I've got four lock picks on me, so let's have a crack. It generally gets down to like three or four seconds and then goes through everything that I have, but you can put points into lock picking. I haven't. Okay, that's one down. It's two down. Get two more tries at this. Oh, come on, last one. Go on, go on, go on. Hey. Okay, so we got a weapons grip mod. I'll probably stick that on the sledge as we've been using the sledge just for the time being. And of course, it's gone 10 o'clock, so these zombies can now run at us. Top of which, our pistol. Is broke. I did pick up a couple more pistols, but we need to repair it. But I'm also out of ammo as well. I'm extra pleased I bought that ammo from Trader Gen before we came in here because that was just what I was worried about, but getting cornered there. But we were okay. We managed to hold them off. And in the morning, we can go and hand this quest in. So bit of a slower start to the morning with that buried treasure quest but in the end we managed to get three quests done on day three i would like to get at least three or if we can get four quests done that'll open up that bike we should also make enough credits by that point to perhaps buy that fire axe okay let's just go and condense our inventory at some point, I do need to go and see if I can find that cooking pot. That is one thing we are missing. Scrap helmet. It is heavy armor, so I'm probably going to sell that one. Scrap that. So that about covers it for another day on Seven Days to Die. We will pick things up again tomorrow morning on day three. And we'll start hammering out these quests again for Trader Gen. If we can get four more done, then we can unlock that bike. And perhaps we can buy that fire axe. It is quite expensive, but it would definitely come in handy when it comes to setting up some sort of fortification for Horde Night on day five. But until next time, 
I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.